Welcome back to this video. This video will see AAA authentication on local database. AAA authentication on local database. What that means? So let's say in this diagram we have three users. You can see there's let's say they're all network engineers and they're trying to access this router, right? This router here. So we need to configure some kind of security measures even for these engineers. Meaning we want to ensure indeed these engineers are the ones who is trying to access this router. So there has got to be some authentication process that needs to happen while they try to access. And this is done through this concept called authentication authorization and accounting otherwise known as AAA. Within this, this authentication part is what we are doing here or what we are trying to implement here which is who wants to access the network. So we have three users. So what we will do is we will create three username and passwords. We will create three usernames and passwords and then we will enable AAA on this router. Okay. And then login authentication, which means provide a name for our authentication and then ask this router to check the local database. So instead of doing this on an external server or something like that, we are doing it on our local database itself this authentication process we are doing it on the local database itself so the router will check on the local database if everything matches then only this guys engineers can access the router so they must provide the username and password and we'll see that uh, when we configure after that we'll apply this authentication on uh, line console 0 this line console 0 and line vtys for console access and telnet access. We will also try to access via telnet. See if we can get into the router. So this is the lab. We will now start configuring. So first we will go to this router. Step by step we will do the configuration. Okay. Remember we are doing it uh, AAA authentication on the local database. So first we need to we'll start with create usernames and passwords so let's label terminal so username well let's say xxx okay password cisco all capitals then username yyy password uh, we'll just provide the same password, but in the real world, it must be different. It must be complex. So, just for this lab purpose, we'll just use same passwords, okay? And uh, username zzz password Cisco. Now we have completed the create usernames and password part. Now we'll enable AAA. How? The, the command is AAA, AAA new model. Now we have enabled AAA on this router. And uh, then we'll need to uh, login authentication, which means provide a name for our authentication provide a name for our authentication and then we'll need to tell the router to check the local database okay so let's provide a name for our uh, authentication so for that we need to say to play authentication authentication login and then we, here we need to provide a name okay so we can say 
again CCNA, okay, all capital, and then and if I put a question mark, is asking group or local. So we need to say local. This is our local database. So we need to say local, okay, local. Now we have completed this part also login authentication. We have given a name for our authentication and also ask the router to check the local database. Now what we'll do is apply this authentication to both line console zero and VTYs. So line console zero to play authentication 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 login. Sorry. So the command is actually not to play authentication. Login login authentication and then we have to provide the name and it's given us CCNA right CCNA that's it okay login authentication CCNA same thing for VTY so exit line VTY you can do 0 to 4 or 0 to 15 however many users you want to give access at one time so we'll just stick with uh, 4 which means total 5 right authentication CCNA okay we have completed all the steps now it's time to verify everything okay first we'll check the local database so we'll just exit 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 now when I press enter it should ask for the username it is asking for the username so we can use any username we have given xxxyyyzzz so let's put xxx password is we have given us cisco in all capitals cisco and i am in now what we'll do is we'll try to access via telnet telnet 192.168.1.100 this is the gateway address of this router which we are trying to access should ask for username it says trying to uh, connect but it's asking for username so we can provide yyy password all capitals cisco and i am in so that is also working so guys this is how you would access uh, the router using AAA and uh, also configuring it on the local database for authentication purpose instead of doing it on an external server. So I hope it helps somewhat if you have any questions you can ask down below otherwise we'll see some other concept in the next video we'll see AAA authentication uh, on the external server in the next video and see how that works until then stay tuned thank you and good day